women's choice does not d it doesn't work to use that as the main argument for why the wage gap exists I think there's still a lot of ingrained biases against women and I think that we as women need to really well that's a total of about 900 students if we vaccinate all of them or make it legal for like make it mandated for all of them to get vaccinated. When I was in that communications course, it was like, you have to give this presentation and you have to be recorded and then you have to watch it and self-assess yourself. And what was going through my head the whole time was I don't wanna do this. How many of you get a little bit uncomfortable? I was so nervous. I just remember getting up there and I had my paper, which was like, eight pages or something and I was like stumbling through it and I was trying to highlight things before giving the speech and I was so ill prepared. I'd be really stressed. Stressed and anxious and a little nervous, you know, and I'm kind of like scared. Like I would get really shaky and I just would get butterflies and I could feel my face getting red. So I've learned how to take the anxiety and instead of sitting there and being like, oh, I'm so nervous, this is gonna go terribly, to being like, okay, well, I'm nervous, so what can I do to be proactive to change that around and feel prepared? Which is something that Alverno, and the teachers especially, really encouraged. The self-assessment made me really realize, okay, what are you doing right? What are you doing wrong? How can you fix it? He also makes the claim that women cannot do both. They can't work and raise a family. So after three years at Alverno, that has transformed to, yeah, let's do it. Like, present me with a challenge. Let's do it. I'm excited, uh, which is really cool to say because, you know, you don't really think about that. Uh, but now, I, like, I, I love doing it. I've noticed the transformation just even in my volume. Just when I speak to people, I used to be really quiet. And one of those, like, can you, what? Like, what did you say? Speak up. And now I'm, I'm a lot louder. I'm more confident in myself. I take more risks too, and I'd be totally okay. If you were like, here, here's your topic, just present on it. Alverno made me really step it up. And again, that's all linked back to the confidence that Alverno and its curriculum and its staff and faculty has instilled in me. And even if it was already there, they just help you to let it grow so much. And that's just incredible. That's one of the things I will forever be so thankful for.